Hey everybody, welcome back for another car wash review. And today is the, what I was calling the surprise uh, tunnel uh, soft cloth wash. And uh, this was the uh, other wash that was in that uh, uh, voting poll that I did on, uh, on YouTube. And uh, to try and see which was going to, uh, which you guys were gonna pick to clean the van. We did the uh, touchless uh, wash at the dry and shine in Hamilton and uh, as good of a wash th as that is and uh, um, I still highly recommend that wash but get the uh, touch version that's a really good facility there um, this one I believe is the one that's going to uh, clean it because the touchless uh, did it and I don't know if you guys can guess which this is because I've zoomed in on just the word car wash um, some of you might think this isn't uh, much of a surprise, but uh, this is the Auto Spa in Burlington, which I know I have uh, done before. This is Canada's longest tunnel wash. At, uh, I believe it's 225 feet long. Uh, it's a very large facility. I did their uh, newer facility in Mississauga. I've done that one already. And the reason why I'm back here is because they totally um, uh, redid this wash, uh, I believe back in November of last year. It was shut down for a few days and they redid it. So I'm hoping um, they put a lot of the same equipment that in as they uh, did when they built the new uh, Mississauga location, which did a fantastic uh, job. So this has always been uh, right up there, either number one or two is my favorite uh, uh, tunnel washes. This is a really really good uh, Place and the one in Mississauga like I said is excellent So I feel very confident that this is going to be the wash that's going to finally get this van clean So as a reminder, let's get out and have a look. We'll see how Dirty the van is So it's nothing crazy um, On this side, but look if I run my finger down it you'll see there this side isn't too bad these darn little chips that I have I'm gonna touch that up today it'll give me something to do and then it won't uh, be as noticeable when we do these washes because it almost sometimes it'll look like dirt marks so you can see the dirt if you remember this from the last video the uh, dirt marks up along the top and then See, more dirt, dirt has gone on it, but I don't know if you can kind of see. Remember the, the dirt stripes? It's still there. You can kind of notice it a little bit more. There, it's just more, a little bit more uh, light dirt has gone on and kind of camouflaged it a bit. Good, and that's not that bad. So, yeah, even you can see it along the top of that. The door there. Okay. So this is on Applebee Line. Can't remember the exact address. It's not that far right off the highway. And uh, looks like they just finished building a Hampton Inn there, and they're doing some more construction here. We got a A and W, and this is I'm in a self storage. Um, so storage parking lottery now. Okay. Just gonna mount you on there. Just gotta drive over. currently 9 40 Sunday morning I'm gonna be uh, uh, there we go 12 27 there's the address 12 27 Applebee line and uh, 
Yeah, it's currently uh, 941 and I'm going to be, this place opens at 9. And look at that, we already got a lineup. It's a popular place. Let me take it now. So they got a Jiffy Lube for oil changes. Uh, looks like some detailing bays. Did some self-serve bays. Vacuums. Now this part over at the uh, the Mississauga location is a little fancier. It's all a brand new building and everything. Yeah, you can probably see there that's some of the uh, the personal detailing you can get. I do an express wax, hand applied wax, and uh, fabric protection. They can clean the inside and the uh, outside of your vehicle. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good, how can I help you? Uh, I'm going to get, uh, I guess, the ultimate exterior wash. Just exterior, yeah. yes. You want to add any rain to your tire shine? Sure. It's going to be 2208, please. MasterCard? Sure. Here you go. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's always nice when they have a uh, cashier, you're not just dealing with a machine. So we got the ultimate exterior wash and we added tire shine and rain -X. And so the exterior ultimate wash is $14.56. And then if you add the tire shine and the rain X in that, it come, that's an additional $4.98. So with taxes, everything, $22.08. So not bad comparable to uh, other washes like this. And they also give you a coupon for the Jiffy Lube, where I said that you can get the oil changes in that, for uh, $10 off any oil change package. Also says uh, on my receipt if you buy uh, ten, it's, uh, they said ask about our loyalty program if you buy ten washes you get uh, one for free. So it looks like they're pretty busy on that this morning. I'm gonna take this off. Ah, my clamp. So the lane, blah, the lane to the left is for interior detailing. And then the one we're in here is for the exterior. You can see how busy it is today. People are starting to come in and line up. But uh, yeah, I will uh, pause this and uh, once we get up close, I'll start back up. All right, so we're getting close to the thing. I just noticed the sign up here. I don't know if you can read it. It says you are about to enter the longest car wash in the world. So. They used to have that um, kind of claim to fame, but I believe when the, um, I can always forget the darn name of it. There's a car wash in Texas, I believe it is. I think it's in Texas. And it's uh, 250 feet long. And uh, so it's 20, it ended up beating this one by 25 feet and it's now the world's longest. But these are older signs. You can see how they've kind of faded a bit, but it is still the longest in Canada, that I know, so. There's a sign of some of the uh, services that they uh, that they offer. So yeah, that the car's going in there. They're doing the interior service, and we're going to do the exterior. So I'm really excited to see uh, how the equipment, what's uh, all changed in here. So <clears throat> my guess is that it's uh, like the one in uh, Mississauga, but we shall see.
they actually have two attendants, which is pretty cool. How you doing? Oh, the small one? Yeah, that one. Yep. Keep it in neutral, no break. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Full beam in. No, they're fine. They never get bothered. All right. Thank you. All right. So just he just asked for my paper. I got two guys with the uh, pressure washers. They're uh, going around the whole sides and everything as you can see. He asked if I wanted the uh, side mirrors pushed in but I said no nah, they never get bothered. You can see the interior laying in there. They really put the cars in here <laughs> tight. They put one, you can see how close they was to the one in front of me, but then they pull ahead a little bit. Evolution RS-1000. Nice heavy coating of the tri foam.
and McNeil. Brushes by the looks of it. This is the rust inhibitor. Like a McNeil dryers, yeah. This this hasn't been changed. Wow, look at them all. So it's not like they offer the uh, free um, the free uh, vacuums and stuff. I'm just trying to get over here so that uh... all right. Oh yeah, look at that baby shine. Wow, look at that. It's like a new truck. Even the back, look at this thing. Now that's a tunnel wash. No dirt, nothing. And look at how dry it is. Wow. That's impressive. Like, no bugs, nothing on the mirrors. Spotless. So, final thoughts on this. First off, I was a little, at first I was a little, I don't want to say disappointed, but surprised that what I heard about like the renovation and that <clears throat> I, I thought everything was going to be new inside like how Mississauga was not the case at all it looks like all they did was just maintenance um to it and uh because all like everything kind of looked like maybe they changed some of the brushes or something I don't know but the dryers everything like that it all looks original it doesn't doesn't have the uh, the equipment that uh, the, the exact same equipment that the Mississauga location has and if you haven't seen that video, go back and look for it. If I remember, I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description below. But, um, yeah, you'll definitely see a, a difference between the two. That's for sure. But um, th this reminds me of, like, the old school type, 
tunnel soft cloth systems and that just like really long and extremely effective like <laughs> like this thing came out spotless like really really great job so there we finally got this van super clean so when I get back I'm gonna do a, a, a more detail I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean the inside of this thing I'm going to uh, touch up the little chips and that on the outside um, get this thing looking as uh, best I can so that we can start fresh when it gets dirty again and uh, do another car wash next weekend and we'll see what we uh, see what we come up with so anyways let me know what you think in the comments below are you pleased with the outcome of this I mean you should be <laughs> so I definitely highly recommend this I actually got um, um on my receipt I, mean, I can't show it to you um, it's got a, um, uh, a QR code on it and it's for the uh, the app I can download the app and um, it gives me a code to enter when I download the app and uh, it will give me a free car wash so if you'd like me to do a video on that where I download the app and uh, get a free car wash here and uh, do a revisit on this and we'll see what the free car wash is um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to, to do a video on that but uh, anyways that's it for this one I highly recommend it great value turned out fantastic and uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I appreciate the support, as always. And until next time, be good, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.